can you see on her arm right here? See how she has this like funky patch? Oh yeah, oh yes. The collar had actually been embedded all the way around and under her arm like she had stepped through it. And so it was so far into the muscle tissue, they had to go in and surgically remove it and then they had to do skin grafts. Oh, for goodness sakes. So I did, see, I didn't see, I was looking on, on the neck. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Isn't this wonderful? <gasps> this is a miracle, you're a miracle baby. She is. You I mean, you saved her once and now she's been saved a second time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Do you remember Can, your mama? Ah! Can you tell us a little bit how long ago she went missing on you? She went missing about a year ago. Last summer, I went to Virginia in August, um, and my boyfriend was taking care of her. She's an indoor-outdoor cat, and so he let her out one morning and never saw her after that. And he felt so bad. <laughs> so, yeah, she's been gone for almost a year. A lot of times what happens is somebody finds a friendly cat, they stray into their yard, and they take them into the house, yeah. and then then the cat becomes theirs, because she didn't have any fleas or flea dirt oh, on yeah. her. She was very clean, very friendly. She was very hungry. Oh, of course she is. She She's very you hungry. You're such a fatty. You're such a fatty. This certainly is a good, uh, good time to tell people about chipping. Yes. Look at this, the microchip. It's super important. It yeah. so works. After a year. So we got to tell I people know. they need to now, do that. Do you still that. work for a, a veterinarian? I do. Um, I work for um, Cape Cod Vet Specialists in Buzzwell's oh, Bay. Oh, over the yeah, over yeah, the bridge. Over the bridge. Yes. We do emergency yeah. medicine. Oh. So, yeah, I still work for them. I, I used to work for Bulger Animal Hospital, which is up in North Andover. And they also own um, Mass Vet Referral Hospital. Um, and that's how I ended up with her and my other cat. I have another cat, too. I think this little girl knows who you are. <laughs> I think she does. The way she's I think she remembers. She's a sweetheart. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Oh, baby girl. Oh, another like happy home? story. And yeah, what is her name? You, you told her me name that. is Essen, which means to eat in German. Because when we got her, all she wanted to do was eat. And it looks like she's, she's still, still there. She's still there. That's a she good name. She's living up to her name. So we call her Essie, for sure. Well, two young girls who had to go back to college found her. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm really sorry. They stupid. named her Tabitha Cranberry. That is too funny. <laughs> I'm real sad that they couldn't keep a cat, but I'm really glad that they couldn't keep yeah, that, her. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. So uh, they brought her in to, to us, and we took her to the vet. I can't believe it. You know, out of curiosity, I'd like to try our scanner again. Oh, sure. Okay. Before, because I don't think I went down far enough. Right. Dr. Palmer said that, that the chip can oh, Dr. Palmer. float around. Yes, yeah, Foster Palmer, he's still there. Yes, we, we have one of his patients in the...